Welcome to Window Clean Resources YouTube channel. My name is Steve O, the Window Cleaner, one of the sales reps here. And today I'm going to show you how to connect your zero high flow hose to your zero water fed pole system or zero water fed pole. We also have the zero hose, which we've had for a very, very long time. That has a 5 16th outer diameter with a 3 16th inner diameter. We've now made this zero high flow based on a lot of requests for it. So it has a 10 millimeter outer diameter and it has a quarter inch inner diameter. So you will receive more volume of water from this hose than you'll receive from the other zero hose. These are some of the connections that you'll need when hooking up the uh, high flow hose. This is a brush connector. So what this does, it goes down from 10 millimeter to eight millimeter. So your 516 zero hose is gonna go on this side and you're gonna have a very small connector going into the brush. So you'll put this on the high flow hose just like this and then that will connect to the brush. This is going to connect to the zero outlet quick connect to make a premium quick connect set with the eight millimeter going to 10 millimeters so you can run it directly from your system. And you may just wanna pick up some extra reducers too that are 10 millimeter to eight millimeter so that it fits the outer diameter of this hose and can convert everything to your water fed pole brush. Let's get going over the setup with the system and a pole. Okay, so we are gonna grab, I know I don't have this very nicely organized, but we are gonna grab the end of our water fed hose line that we are going to use from the system or the reel to our brush. Now, if you had a hose reel coming off of here and you had the garden hose thread fitting like that, then you would just attach that to there and hook the high flow hose to there. But for today, we're just going to hook up this hose directly to the system. So this goes here. And then your zero high flow hose just goes right into the reducer. So that's gonna bring the hose all the way through. Then you'll take this small reducer, which is once again, 10 millimeter to eight millimeter with a little small section of 5 16th hose on it. Yours might have black hose. You put that on the end of the zero high flow hose. And then we can plug that right into the pencil jets on a hybrid brush of a zero hybrid brush or you can also plug that into the new zero plastic rinse bar here. So that's gonna bring your water from your system all the way through the hose, all the way to here, just like you would set up normal zero hose line. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on the system and we're gonna run it with the high flow hose. You can see the differences between the zero rinse bar, the four pencil jets, two pencil jets, the plastic zero rinse bar, kind of see some of the differences. And then also I'll show you it with just the 5 16 hose so you can see kind of the difference. So on average, this system produces about one gallon per minute. It's kind of cold. So I bet it's right around there with the PSI I have for my house, which is a little over 50 PSI here. So you can see the trajectory of that water flow there with the plastic rinse bar. Now let's go to the jets. So we're getting out about very, very far there to the street. Go into four jets here. Very, very good flow, the four jets. If we go into the zero rinse bar, we get very, very exceptional flow. Okay, let's hook up the 5 16th hose, kind of show you the difference between the two. Okay, so that's the normal 5 16th hose with the zero rinse bar. Still getting pretty far with the pencil jets, just not all the way out to the street like we were for those ones over there. Go into the four pencil jets. So pretty far, but not the same as we were getting with the zero high flow hose. Let's go into the rinse bar. So still pretty good, but not as high as the high flow hose. So now what we'll do is we'll do a GPM test. So typically this system gets one GPM. So we're gonna fill up a uh, six gallon bucket after all that and look at the actual GPM that you get in a minute. So first we're gonna do a GPM directly from the system. So we know exactly what the flow rate is from this before we measure the flow rates of here. So you can get an accurate idea of what it will be when you buy your new zero high flow hose. 
So we'll time this for 60 seconds, see what our GPM is. I expect it to be around one or a little bit lower because it's cold out. And then we'll test from the hoses. One minute starting now. Okay, one minute and we're just right below one GPM, which is exactly what I thought. With it being cold out, the ROs aren't gonna push out as much water when it's warm. So we're doing about just below one GPM from the system. Now the real difference will be, what rate do you get after going through 100 feet of this? So first what we're gonna do is 100 feet of the zero hose. I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna let the pressure go out of the system that's backed up, and then I'm going to do the actual minute test. Let's start a minute test. Okay, so after one minute, we got after 100 feet of the 3 16th inner diameter, 5 16th outer diameter, zero hose, we got just about a quarter of a gallon per minute. So this would be what's at your actual brush after going through 100 feet of this line. Now let's do it with the high flow hose to see the volume difference. Alrighty, so one minute with the zero high flow hose. What does it produce? Five, four, three, two, one. Timer off. Okay, so same flow rate, everything. This is up to a half a gallon per minute. So after going through for one minute, this doubled our output at that hose to the brush. So the zero high flow hose is literally going to double your flow of what you get out of the end of that hose line to your brush. Also, your zero high flow hose is going to go through the pole just like the zero hose that's the 5 16th outer diameter. Just kind of spin it through the bottom there a little bit if it's catching on anything and push it right through the bottom. This is the way I like to do it. You can, you can go from the top too. It doesn't need to, doesn't have to be this way. right out the top there and it's gonna come and it's gonna come right through the zero fast lock right to your connector open up clamp one and boom just so you are aware so that's it. That's how to hook up the zero high flow hose to your system and also the GPM rate that you can expect as far as what your system is doing to what you'll get at the end of this hose. By testing, this is doubling your flow by using this hose compared to the other zero hose with the 3 16th inner diameter. So if you got any questions, comment below. I'm also a sales rep here at Window Cleaning Resource. So you can contact me at 970-599-1437. Have a good day. Bye-bye.